All right, so this one, this video has been one that I've been wanting to do for a while. Really the last couple weeks with all of this nonsense and madness that's happening in the world. But really wasn't sure how to say it. Um, but there's been a message that I've been getting a lot lately in, in, in private messages and in, in conversations with friends and colleagues and, and family. And it's, it's the message of take care of yourself. The world needs you. Anybody else feel an immense amount of pressure when somebody tells you that? If you don't, I want to know your secret because to think about the fact that the world needs me, let alone everything else, let alone myself needing me, that, that's a bit of pressure, just a little bit. But at the same point in time, it's so immensely humbling. And we are in times that we've never faced, ever. At least, never. And to say that the world needs some, the world needs you in a particular time like this, I, I mean, I would be willing to say that the world needs all of us right now. We all need to step up. We all need to do the work. We all need to show up for ourselves, our families, our friends, and build. Because there's so much negative happening right now. I mean, you can't even fucking turn on social media without seeing something negative. Let alone television or anything else. Hell, you can't even open your phone without getting bombarded with news about another death, another case. I don't know about you, but that kind of is getting fucking sad and irritating because there are people in the world who are standing up to this, who are fighting, who are winning. Yet they don't get the attention. And I'm sure this video is not even going to get the attention that it rightfully deserves because I'm talking about the cool shit, the stuff that, let's face it, doesn't sell ratings right now. I understand. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop talking about it. That doesn't mean that I'm going to stop being grateful for everybody who is not only in my camp and in my circle, but everybody who's attached to me, everybody who's indirectly attached to me, everybody who even sees this video. Hell, even if you exit it three seconds in, I'm grateful because there are many other things that you could have spent three seconds on watching. I hope you make it all the way through because this is, this is a one take, one cut, no editing video straight from beginning to end. This is the video. And that being said, I mean, I'm humbled, I'm grateful, I'm, I'm excited for everybody I'm, out, I'm seeing out there who's still building and still fighting. Because I know it's, it sucks. It's hard. There's so much uncertainty and stress and you just wake up and you're like, fuck. But yeah, you wake up. You still get going. You still move. You still build. You still show up. Even if that way that you show up is to do one thing that day. And then you can go play video games. Then you can go relax, go read a book, go catch up. I really am not one to believe in the hype that we've all seen. I mean, we've got two duet. We've got two things existing simultaneously right now. We've got the camp of people that say, "Oh man, right now is the time that you can, you have the time to go and build that thing you've always wanted to build because you don't have anything else happening." But then there's the other school of, of thought where, "Oh man, you have time to actually relax, to actually <sighs> breathe." Is one right and the other wrong? No, they're both right. Because it's on you to decide what works for you. Me? <laughs> I've never been more excited, more productive, more busy, more just internally feeling like what I'm doing is fucking making a difference than I am right now. And that, then that's how I feel for me and I hope that's what you guys feel for you because that's what's going to get us through 
as individuals and as a collective. That's what's going to allow us to keep going. Even, in, even if, even if it does suck, just do one thing for you, for your business, for your health, get it down to the smallest thing that you can do. And just, just be accomplishing something for yourself. So like I said, if that's reading a book, hell, I've got, I've got books over here. I got to read. I got things I want to accomplish. Now, have I read many of them lately? No. But I understand that I have had other things that are also important to me that have come up and taken priority. And that's okay. And um, I feel like I'm kind of rambling. Oh, well. I haven't done a video like this in a long time, and it's necessary. So ramble away, I say. Um, but no, I mean... I've got friends and, 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 and colleagues and clients and, and, and relationships that are building and, and businesses that I'm seeing flourish right now, including my own, and opportunities that are coming in abundance because when others are scared and running away, there are many of us who are running forward straight through it. And that reminds me of a post that I had done a while ago on the subject of fear. And one in particular person's question on that subject caught me the most. And they're like, well, what do you do when you face it? To me, the answer is simple. To me, the answer is you just charge, dive, go headfirst into it. Because there's no way that you can move around the fear, right? Especially right now. You dive headfirst in. Just go. Take that leap. Build that thing. Do that dream. Take a fucking nap. I need to nap more. Yeah. Anyways, point being, my friends, this is, these times are hard on a lot of people for a lot of different reasons, but the one thing that's a light in all of this is that we're all facing this together. And if we're all in this together, that means we can all get out of it together. So if you've made it this far, thank you. This is seven and a half minutes, eight minutes. I don't know how long it's going to be by the time I'm done, hopefully long enough to get on IG, but be kind to each other. Be kind to our, yourself. Take that extra step. Even if that extra step is for you and what you need to do, take it. In every day, find happiness. And in, even if it's in the smallest thing, and like yourself to find that happiness in nobody else. Try to make it fun. Doesn't have to be all about work or all about relaxing. Find the balance. Make sure that you smile. <laughs> That'll help. And then I, I, would, I would say work hard, but I mean, work hard at doing what you want to do right now. That's because, because it's up to you. And last but certainly not least, and this is something I still need to work on, make sure that you take time to breathe. And however you need to do it for you, even if you just say that word, breathe once a day. It does a really cool thing where it forces you to breathe. And um, yeah, so I'm hoping to do more of these videos. Um, we'll see what my schedule allows me to do. But thank you guys. Love you all. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.